Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to make an overview and review of the Perix uh, PX1100 UK. Now, first of all, there is two versions of this keyboard. There's the UK layout and the US layout. So I'm going to be reviewing the UK layout. There's not uh, any difference uh, between the two uh, in terms of hardware-wise, but just the uh, layout of the keyboard, and by that I mean uh, you've got the uh, pound symbol, the UK GBP uh, pound symbol over there, and the at, si at sign over here rather than the other way around, um, and the dollar sign at number four. So that's a little bit of difference over there, and so I should mention that before getting into this review. This keyboard can be found for about £35 on Amazon.co.uk, meaning it's extremely affordable and um, I'm reviewing it at that price as well. So first of all, as you can see, it is a backlit keyboard, but it's not just a single uh, backlight, it's got three different colours. So you've got blue, you've got red, and you've got pink, even though my camera is picking it up as a uh, uh, purple. I know for a fact this is pink uh, of what I can see in front of me is pink. So it's a, a pinkish color and I think this pink color would appeal to girls. Um, the only thing I would say is a shame that there's no green color over there but that's just um, just a thing that I should probably mention. So you've got three colors and as you saw you're also able to switch it off. Now the switching off function is actually very good because for example if someone doesn't want it or they're gonna leave it on overnight um, their PC overnight they don't want a um, a color or anything like that they don't want to be illuminated and therefore they can switch it off completely but however with that said you've got a little dial on the right hand side and this adjusts the um, the intensity. As you can see, all, if I dial it all the way down, it's going to turn it off, which is absolutely excellent because you can have it on one color, um, go to sleep, have your PC on, switch it off like that, wake up and just turn it up. So it's really nice that you can adjust it so you can have a slight blue color or you can have a really strong uh, blue color. Now, I should say that the um, the keys are um, see-through, by that I mean you can see a little bit blue underneath them, but it is not that obvious. It's not like my uh, Logitech G710 Plus uh, gaming keyboard where you can really see it uh, uh, illumination on the key. It's not as apparent over here, but that's just a, just a remark that I should uh, point out in case you guys were wondering. This keyboard also has a slight functionalities. It's got on the right hand side you've got media functionalities. You've got play, pause, um, uh, skip, previous, um, and you've got volume up and down and mute. And the one on the right was the one for the different colors, like so. Um, also, it's got two other functions which are pretty nice. Is the fact that you've got a palm rest over here, which can also be removed pretty easily. You just have to clip it off uh, from the bottom and you are able to uh, take it off. You're also able to adjust it, which is very useful. Um, so, as you can see over here, I'm able to open it up like so. So, depending on how your palms are, how um, big your hands are, you can adjust that. So, it's very, very useful and very cool indeed. Uh, to, to be able to do that. And finally, another function that I should mention is at the rear side of the keyboard, you've got the different heights. So you've got the max height over there, but also you've got the little bit smaller height over there. And also, alternatively, you can have it flat. And if you have it flat, it's good because you've also got these rubber uh, bits on each of the corners of the keyboard, meaning that you have no problems in uh, putting it down and it moving on a surface like mine. For example, on my surface, it would move normally, but if you put it down without the palm rest, it's going to stick really, really well. So no matter how hard you type, it's going to always stick there. And also, as you saw at the back, um, maybe if you notice, but the LEDs also do go on the sides, which I find really, really cool. It's almost like having neons underneath a car back in Need for Speed Underground. Um, and these little LEDs are on the side. So as you can see, they're just on the side right there. And they do um, adjust with the brightness as well, which I'll show you. As you can see, so it adjusts like the whole brightness of the keyboard as well. And this is really cool because if you have it lifted up, so I'm going to lift these up. And you put it down on the surface that might reflect. As you can see on my hand right there, 
it's got a nice little illumination so if I turn off the LEDs you'll be hopefully able to see a little blue color and it's very nice it's a very small but distinctive touch um, so I really find it really nice as you can see over here um, going off my uh, mouse uh, mouse pad over here it is a very nice little touch um, so they didn't Perix really didn't have to do this but I think it's a really big plus that they did because it just adds a little bit of uh, just a cool factor to the keyboard now obviously the keyboard is um, impressive in terms of its functionalities its looks um, and what it offers especially for the price but how does it feel well I gamed on it um, a few games on Battlefield 4 and also uh, tried typing on it and I must say it is very nice in fact it is very quiet so if I turn off the LEDs over there and uh, just type so it is a very nice and quiet keyboard um, as you are able to hear it doesn't make much noise and it, the keyboard feel is really nice it's it's soft um, in, in a respect which is nice so if you're gonna play with WASD over there um, and whatnot it's very silent it's got no sort of clicking sound or anything like a mechanical keyboard would do and it feels very responsive also the design of it is quite flat meaning that you're um, you're not putting your fingers on stress you're not doing this or anything like that you're not um, angled in certain respect but you're just positioned very nicely um, in that respect and meaning it is a very nice uh, keyboard with that said it is a, a membrane keyboard so it's not a mechanical keyboard and um, I should also mention that it hasn't got an N key rollover uh, meaning that if I type um, if I'm hitting all three buttons at the same time it's not going to register all three buttons it's only going to register one or two buttons so it's a little problem but this is a, a note um, a, a feature that you're going to find in either more expensive gaming keyboards or only a mechanical keyboard so you should bear that in mind before buying the, buying the keyboard but that said for £35 I really can't complain for its um, for its performance its functionalities are excellent I, I really couldn't fault it in any respect of course there is no uh, dedicated G keys or any sort of software I should also mention by the way I plugged this in and I basically was able to play with it in under 30 seconds so there's no need to install any drivers or anything like that and it works on both on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 However, there was no G keys over here or anything like that to um, hit the programmable keys. But again, this is a £35 keyboard. It is not a £150 keyboard. So I wouldn't have really expected that anyway. But it would have been a nice touch. But if I needed those G keys, then I would have needed a software and whatnot and installed the software and everything like that. So it's got no software that's bundled with it. And some people can see it as a plus because you don't have to worry about any installation some people can see that as a minus because um, you know people would like to program their keyboards in certain ways or um, sets up several macros or whatnot so you can't really do that but overall guys for 35 pounds you really can't go wrong this is a brilliant little keyboard its LEDs work really well it's got different sort of customizable options its uh, keys feel really nice and responsive it's not too loud as a keyboard and actually works um, just really nice just for typing let alone gaming um, so I really do suggest uh, looking at this keyboard and um, getting one for yourself if you're looking for a nice cheap and cheerful keyboard. This keyboard I'm going to give it to my mum. She doesn't game at all but um, she tried it out and straight away she said oh my god the feel of these keys are really nice because it's really nice and soft um, and not loud so she does a lot of typing and therefore I'm pretty sure she would appreciate that she really liked it at first glance and she really loved the different colors especially the pink color um, but you know this this keyboard can really work for any type of person not only a gamer and me myself I'm a gamer and I game a lot but with that said I do a lot of typing as well and I need something that's um, flexible in both respects and this keyboard especially for the price really does um, a lot of justice in that respect so anyway guys uh, do check out uh, this keyboard in the link description it'll be a link to amazon.co.uk um, and do buy one if you if you like it but if you are looking at this uh, video to see um, your thoughts and opinions of it I definitely suggest um 
getting the keyboard or at least having this keyboard as a consideration for a nice cheap and cheer feel uh, keyboard that will work um, in different aspects. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, and do let me know your comments and opinions of this keyboard and other keyboards out there and make sure you like and subscribe because it always helps and uh, yeah totally dubbed out bye bye